Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Today we are going to be talking to you guys about the fictional Jurassic World dinosaur, the Stegoceratops. Boom, I even caught one earlier just so you guys can see it and, uh, and touch it and feel it. Look, reach out, touch it, smell it, smell a vision. But before we do jump into everything about this dinosaur, I wanna remind you guys to subscribe, turn on those notifications so I don't miss a single video because we're gonna be covering all the creatures and dinosaurs from the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park universe. So I don't want you guys to miss any of those. As well, leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below dinosaur prehistoric creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. And let's jump into everything you need to know about the Stegoceratops. So Stegoceratops, what does it mean? The name means roof horned face, but it's also just the combination of Stegosaurus and whatever sort of Ceratopsian dinosaur ends with Ceratops, which is a lot of Ceratopsian dinosaurs. In most Jurassic World lore that we see, it's supposed to be a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops, but there's a cool theory that goes behind that, and we'll talk about that in a second. A side note before we begin, this is one of the least understood of the hybrid dinosaurs that Dr. Henry Wu uh, kind of came up with in Jurassic World. There's not a lot of information since we've never actually actually seen this thing in real life in the movies obviously not in real life because it's a fictional creation it's a fictional animal but we just don't have that much information so a lot of this video is going to be hypothesis and just the general information i was able to scrap up from the internet nonetheless it is a very interesting hybrid dinosaur concept so when and where did the stegoceratops exist well it existed in cinematically nothing in none of the movies we've never actually seen it before the only sort of confirmation that we have and like visually seen the stegoceratops is in a scene in jurassic world where it's in a photo or sort of like a hologram in a lab but we don't have any confirmation whether it was actually created at any point in jurassic world's you know universe so we don't really have a time frame for when it existed or where it existed if it did exist anywhere it probably would have been on the island of isla nublar so what did the stegoceratops look like well it was a hybrid of a stegosaurus so it's got that thagomizer and those awesome plates on the back of the animal now like i mentioned to you guys earlier interestingly enough a lot of people assume that this thing is a triceratops because of that frill and the three horns but it actually doesn't have three horns. Stegoceratops only has two horns, so that kind of means it's probably not a Triceratops. Even though if you read on the internet, most things will tell you that this is a hybrid between a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. It's actually probably the hybrid of a Stegosaurus and a dinosaur called the Nasutoceratops. This is another dinosaur that's known as a Ceratopsian. You know, those dinosaurs with the frills and horns, and it's kind of characterized by those horns that are pointing forward, similar to like a bull or something. You can kind of see those faces very, very similar in the Jurassic World universe, as opposed to a Triceratops, which has those three horns, one, two, three. It's cool to have all these dinosaur toys to be able to show you guys actual depictions from the Jurassic World universe. So we got the frills, we got the horns, but we're missing that, you know, that nose horn. So it's probably safe to say that Stegoceratops was not a Triceratops hybrid at all. It was probably a Nasutoceratops and a Stegosaurus. Now, once again, these are theories, and if you look on the internet, most things will tell you that it is the hybrid of a Triceratops, so do some of that searching yourself. I highly recommend it to you. I'm just here to give you the information. So how did this thing get famous? It's not really famous, I guess. It's only ever been featured in Jurassic World. I'm sure the concept has been thought about before in other media before Jurassic World, where people have either sit down and drawn a Stegosaurus with a Triceratops head or a Triceratops with a Stegosaurus body. It's, it's, it's probably a pretty common common thing that most kids or adults have had the image of in their head, but it never really became famous until Jurassic World, and I still wouldn't say that it's famous famous. It was only ever featured in Jurassic World in that one scene like we mentioned earlier. Now and again, it's been popping up in different places in the Jurassic World universe, like the different games that Jurassic World has, like Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World Builder, and the most accurate and beautiful depiction we have of it is in Jurassic World Evolution, the video game. That's where we can see this thing on full display, full glory, we get to see it come together in the real world, and it looks really, really beautiful so if you really want to see what a good looking model of this animal would have looked like Jurassic World Evolution is the place to see it. Let's jump right into the behavior and diet of the Stegoceratops. We're gonna have to hypothesize here because we don't have information but we can assume it was an herbivore probably was not a carnivore hunting down the t-rex in Jurassic Park. It was probably sort of docile and if it would have lived with other counterparts probably would have lived in groups like some Ceratopsians are hypothesized to live in or other Stegosaurids are hypothesized to live in and it had a plentiful amount of defense features like we mentioned earlier but let's Let's highlight them once again. It's got that thagomizer, which we know the stegosaurus was able to use for defense during the Jurassic period when it lived, and the horns and frill of an Asutoceratops, which we can assume most Ceratopsians probably use these either for mating or uh, defense to stab 
other predatory dinosaurs. And that is pretty much all the information I have for you guys on the fictional Stegoceratops. Remember, once again, not a real animal that has ever existed or that we have any proof of. Nonetheless, it is a cool dinosaur and it comes from the Jurassic franchise, so we're happy to cover it here on the Dinosaur Channel. I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we're covering every dinosaur and prehistoric creature from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World universe. I also want to remind you guys to leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment a creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. As well, if you like this channel and you want to support us, you can send us some money down in our PayPal link down below in the description. It'll help us continue making these awesome videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The next dinosaur that we're going to be covering is Blue the Velociraptor. Not a real animal, but still going to be fun because everybody loves blue. So let's get right into it in the next one. I'll see you then. Uh, goodbye.